Okay guys, so we are in our current house and, um, or our house that we, not, not the old house, but our house right now. And we are going to build this thing. So we just got home a little bit ago. We moved the baby chicks and now we're gonna film this thing. So let's show you what we're gonna do. This has probably been used many of many of times, but we are actually got this idea from Kendall Gray. So basically we have a pool noodle that we simply got from Dollar Tree for a dollar. You can also get these at Walmart for a little bit cheaper, but we got this bright green color so we can actually see it. Then we've got this box cutter to cut the noodle and the string. And then also we have this, which is their string, but um out of uh, junk. Yeah. And then we have three. Ow, 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 ow. Get that off of me. So we have three big fishing hooks that we found in our tackle box. I don't know that those holes are big enough for this string. Oh, we didn't even think about that. Oh my goodness. Man. And then there's a there's a hook on that. And then we have some duct tape, uh -oh. which I don't really know where it went. Uh, there it is. It. We're a whole mess over here. Okay, there we go. I can't get it off. Lighter because we might need to burn the edge of it to make it fit. Wait! Just so it can fit through the hole. Hopefully. Let's see if that works. So we might have to find another string. Um, we have a white string, but we just don't know where that is. Just peel the sticker off. It's not even gonna fit in there. The edge is not gonna fit in there. We have to burn the whole rope, and that's just not gonna work. Oh my. So yeah, we're gonna go see if we can find a different string. All right, so. Almost You're gonna see. Too big, too big. So we gotta go find another string. But before we do that, can we just cut the noodle? We can cut the noodle. That's not gonna fit, Dad. Hmm. It won't fit. What, where's that one that you used for the plants? Too bright. Um, I don't know. We gotta go find it after we cut the noodle. Okay, so we got our box cutter. Ugh. All right, so and we're gonna cut like three probably noodles. right here. All right. Okay, so we're back and we're cutting the noodles. All right here. Oh. Okay. Awesome. So that's how long it is. So now we're just gonna repeat this step basically a couple more times. So one's a little bit longer than all the others because this is the other twos and this is the last one because it was just the end piece, but we'll just have one longer. And yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much all we can do. So we have to go get the, we gotta go find another string at the garage. And we're gonna go find another string. All right, so we just found some electric cord and basically, if this like the fence wire, yeah, oh, it fits just snug. All right. So basically, awesome. what we're gonna do with this is we're going to make a um, bigger hoop so that we can use the yellow string. So we're just kind of gonna expand the hoop a little bit on all three of them, and this might not come off. Actually, yeah, it is. Doesn't have to come off. It doesn't have to come off. That's gonna do that. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. Go. And if you hear my mom in the background, it's because she's studying for school. And this, you sure this fit? How, how did you get this in there? How did you not get that oh, in there? there it was really just going on there. <laughs> he stabbed himself. You're so dramatic. It hurt. What happened? He stabbed himself with the fishing <laughs> um, hook. Yeah. So basically, we're just gonna make a bigger loop so that we can put the string we had before. Looks like you stabbed yourself right there. Mm -hmm. Cut that there off. we go. And Let's show over. them. And then we'll show them what we got going on. Okay. And then we can just stick the string through there. So, let me show up. Mm -hmm. Basically, we're just going to stick the string. Okay, that's, that's too bad. some kind of jerry rig, but... Yeah. 
but it's what we got. And we didn't bring fishing line to this house, and that's at our other house in our other talking talk tackle box. Tackle box. So yeah, I'm just repeating this step to all three, and then we'll get right back so to it. So we just got these all done. So now we're gonna move on to our next step. We're going to fish. I mean, we don't know where the catfish are. If we catch catfish, if we catch anything. Right. So. Well, we'll see. That deep. Maybe like right here. Well, we gotta make it a little bit longer so that it will be. Got room to tie it on there. Well, we actually oh, duct, gonna... we duct tape it on there. That's what Kendall Gray does. Oh. I didn't watch it far into the video. I just saw it. Okay. So, are we going to... Basically, I think what he probably does is just ties it, probably just a couple of knots, and then duct tapes it. So, ties it a couple of times just to, you know, make sure it really doesn't do too much, you know? Yeah, that's not very tight. I'll undo it. Okay, um, so tie it a couple of times. Can't get it too tight, okay? That's kind of tight, I guess. Shut up. We're just dump picking it, it's fine. Mm. We're going to tie the string just right here, and then we're going to take our duct tape and make sure it's secure and put a couple of rounds on around there, and then we'll hook a hook to the end of this and we have some old hot dogs that are going to be our bait for when we go which i think we're going to probably go sunday so yeah and we'll see how these work mm, that's too high up make it so tight Gonna break it. No, it is so much tighter than yours. Okay, now we're gonna show you the next step. The duct tape comes in. Basically, we're just going to take the duct tape and wrap it around the tie a couple of times. really what I'm doing. Um, so no, I, I don't know. I don't know. Can you do this part? Where did that go? Okay. Uh, I'll just film you doing this. <laughs> don't hook me, don't hook me. Basically, we're just tying it, but I'm a little bit too dumb for that. This is a very easy. What I don't know what the what does he call these? They call them noodlers. Noodlers. So uh, basically, you throw them in the water. You let them float. You come back a day or a couple hours later, and if it's bobbing or swimming around like this, you have some kind of fish or turtle. That's what we're hoping to get. We actually wanted to know if we have any catfish in our pond anymore. Done deal. So yeah. That's our done deal, okay? So if you're, if you're you string. Just take this, wrap it around. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If your string is too big to fit inside of your little hole, we just gave you a hack. And now, you just wrap it around 
and you can hook it inside the thing. And that way, it stays good and you don't actually like lose your hook on it or anything because us unorganized people, that's a very big thing. So we're gonna do the rest of these and we'll come right back to you guys. A little bit later, we actually did finish all of them. I think, uh, I think one of these I did. I think I did this one by myself. Um, other than I did not tie the hook because I'm actually really scared to do that, and I don't want it to be too loose. My dad did tie the hooks on all these, but I did this one pretty much all by myself. So, yeah, these are. Um, then we're gonna do another video um, to show you like what we're doing and how they work out for us in, in our own pond. And we might have to go to a couple other ponds because our pond might not have catfish and, uh, yeah. We might actually catch some turtles. I don't know. But it's around 9.40. It's 9.39. We're tired and we're going to go to sleep. Um, these really don't take too long and they're actually really, really cheap. Um, I hope they work. And they do work for most ponds. So if they don't work for us, it's probably just our pond. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, do all the stuff. And if you watch this video, just hit the subscribe button. Just hit it. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.